But yeah. Um, it can't. A we don't have. I know do, you don't have the money for it. Exactly. So, like, <laughs> so that's what that I think they, they're trying to change the world. They really are. The way that you detect a heart attack is that there are certain. Um, there's a certain scan that you can do that reads like how your cardiac walls are constricting. <laughs> It's really interesting, but Take like time it's not it. it's not the same as like your pulse raising, which is what like a fitness watch measures. Next time on medical talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alexis, quick one wrong. Once upon a time has has had uh, the beginning of a good season, another good season. Uh, it's pretty good. They already killed somebody, and Emma just asked Hook to move in with her. They didn't just kill somebody. <laughs> they just killed, killed Sam. Whitmer. They killed Sam Whitwer, who Our I know. friend. Um, I met him. I called him pretty. I told him I don't watch his show. It wait, was wait, wait, very wait, wait. awkward. I, I thought he was a vampire and he couldn't die. Oh, wait, that's a different show. <laughs> <laughs> no, correct me if I'm wrong, Brandon. We love Sam. He's oh, our buddy. Sam is an amazing guy. I uh, loved him at VisionCon last year. It was, it was a great, great time to be able to get him. He has my, great hair. My ex wife got me on this show, and I thought it was going to be stupid at first, but I fell in love I'm with it. To him. And Rumpel Stilskin's my favorite guy. But no. Y'all just ruined a bunch of stuff for me. <laughs> go away, oh, wait, Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Oh, okay, sorry. and now I'm, and I'm literally going to do a quick I'm jump, and I'm going to say this in bulk. Because these are all CW shows, which I think it's funny that CW is taking over the nerd world in such a, in such a weird way. Yeah. But just let's let's get into some of the supernatural, some of the CW shows. I mean, well, they're we all go, doing. I so like that he much. says some of the supernatural and stuff. Right. I was. I mean, because supernatural, it's. I mean, I, it's run its course. Let it die. Yeah. It's I mean, I well, love this show. It hasn't because it's a Although a new my season. favorite meme of the week has come out of Supernatural. With yes, yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite one. What's it like? What me? Okay, I'll. I'll, I'll it's, got, and, it's got Dean. Uh, wait, 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 no, wait, 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 wait. It's oh. got it's got Rick on the phone. Now would be calling time, yes. calling Sam and Dean with the line. Oh, no, Come get your dad. <laughs> you know they he made Jensen Ackles made a joke about that on Twitter. Yep. Yes, they made a baseball. <laughs> it was pretty great, and I'm down for that because. I, I, we'll I get into that later. <laughs> Go ahead, Brandon. Yeah, I, I think Arrow is uh, doing a lot stronger than it has recently. Really? Yeah, no, it really, it really is. You have I, feel... I get desperation off of Stephen Amell when I see him. Whenever I see him online on his live talks, I get desperation. I really well, do. I mean, he likes I, to get paid. I think well, they, they've no really one wants gotten to away start. from this, this weird romance subplot that has ruined the show. And they're starting to get back into what you know, Arrow Have is, you seen Emily Brett Richards? There's nothing weird about that romance. <laughs> it's just the way they've done it up and down, and I'm glad that they haven't continued with that with her new boyfriend or whatever it is. They yeah, kind that of, that's kind they of they kind of let it they've let it slow slow play, which I'd rather do, and they, they still do all the action, got all the fun stuff. I mean, they're doing great with the, their new team. I like the fight scenes they're doing. It really shows a whole lot of new action that I we haven't seen in a long time now. You and I, because you and I talked about CW yesterday. Yeah. Just yesterday. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts? I mean, I know you're caught up on Flash, right? Uh, yeah. Um, no. No, no. I, no. Hey, yo, let me get there. Um, <laughs> Give him a minute. Come no, on. no. I, I like the direction of Flash. Arrow. I'm, I'm behind on Arrow. Like it's too slow for me to keep going. Flash, though, I love what they're doing with the whole Flashpoint and then the um, repercussions of what happened with that. I think that they screwed up by getting, asking for another Harrison Wells. It feels... I when, they, when, they, when they came up with that idea in the middle of the episode, I was like, so why don't we just say we like Mr. Kavanaugh and we don't want to kill him off, so stop making us yeah. do <laughs> I mean, we love him. He's a great actor, but literally it was like, well, we have to pay Tom, so we might as well give him something to do. <laughs> <laughs> what... Anybody else on, on CW I've recorded shows? I've my favorite, which is Legends of Tomorrow, but I have not had a chance to watch any of them yet. It's a lot stronger now that they've... Actually, I thought this last week was abysmal. I mean, I've, actually... You're I've, so mean to Legends of Tomorrow. Actually, it's, it, it was <laughs> so bad to me that I watched Supergirl instead. They wow. Have, wow. They have Supergirl? <laughs> what against Supergirl? Okay, fine. Other than, like, abysmal directing and acting, but their costuming is on point. Actually, she's hot, so, I mean, that's why I watch it. But it's Supergirl like, this season's been really good, too. It's, it's just actually the last not, episode was not my favorite episode. I, they're not... They're, first of all, they shouldn't even be bringing McGann into the story. I mean, this is so not necessary. Uh, at all for any of their universes at all this is kind of stupid yeah and I'm not sure about mon and I'm not sure about you know uh, Miss March and that. right it's there's just so much I'm not I'm they're, not they're, fan pu- they're pushing way too much step into it too quickly and they're oh really, my they're God. really trying to legitimize it as a super 
you know, it's let's take everything Superman's done and shove it into the show. Speaking of which, who is Linda Carter's character supposed to be? She's just the president. She's not Wonder Woman, even though she made. No, her no, no, no. Did you not see the end of that episode? Yeah, she said she's an alien. Okay, who? Yeah. Which one? No, is it, no which, idea. No. Okay, is it could be a whole new. Is it not a shapeshifter or something? It'd have to be. Like, I, I thought. General Zod's cousin. It's not. It's obviously not a Kryptonian. <laughs> I do, I do it's like in that episode, they did two things that were really cool. They did the Wonder Woman spin several times. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, she mentioned her plane. I thought that was kind of funny. But yeah. other than that, it was, I mean, Linda Carter looked great, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Would you say she looked wonderful? Uh, wow. Okay, this is why we only have Adam on the show every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, the, the, the blacklist re- returned as well as Blind Spot, which everybody loved uh, last year. I hadn't, I just, I couldn't follow uh, Blind Spot at all. But the ratings, I, I actually uh, paid attention to the ratings this last couple of weeks just to do it. It's amazing what's having great ratings and what hasn't. Um, they said Supergirl didn't start great. Actually, frequency on CW. Started so bad, and it never. I I'd never seen numbers that low really before. Bad because I don't even see commercials for it. Anymore. Oh, it still has it. Well, it Does is, it? Oh yeah, it's, it's already it's, like on the short list to be canceled. I think. I'm almost positive it's going to be. It's not great. Yeah, it's and it's <clears throat> been so not great. It's, it's, it's such a foreign concept just to begin with. It was a good movie. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was a. I mean, it was a different concept. It was my least annoying time travel. Experimental movie type deal, but I would have never made it into a TV show at all. Just like I would have never made Lethal Weapon a TV show. I was trying. Yeah. You notice? Yeah. You notice? There's no Fox anything on this. <laughs> and 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 we, I mean, because the only one on Fox that we even consider something we need to talk about is is Bones. I did put Gotham on there because well, we don't have Quentin, so it's fine. Yeah, we, oh my we, don't gosh. Have, we don't have Gotham. We don't have Scream Queens. But I do want to talk about uh, the Return of Twenty Four. And the changes they've made for that. They're bringing it back. Uh, it's it actually... Back. With, with, with a different, uh, different. different main character. Well, and he's, and he's it's struggling too. He's, Shocker. He's, he's in that other show that he's a president now. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it's... I don't understand why that's even a show. It's a, it's a mini movie in my opinion. It is. Yeah. Like it a, mini great mini a great... Well, not even a mini series. A mini yeah. movie. You can do that in a, a made-for-TV movie and make the same... Con- because after the first day... Mm-hmm. He's not the designated survivor anymore. He's the president. <laughs> so, well, obviously, the president would survive. I mean, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, it. it's a great concept for a movie, yeah. a TV movie, a mini series, but not an actual series. Yeah, because after a while, what are you going to do with it? Exactly, exactly. And if you know, if, uh, fans, if you haven't noticed, uh, <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Twenty-four West Wing. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-four. We have enough presidents to make a parliament, so let's totally switch the government system. If you haven't noticed, fans, I've been stalling. I've been been delaying this. Uh, if you are a Walking Dead fan and you are not caught up, you did not season it. You see the season premiere. Turn off. Turn off your radio. Come back in about. Well, I'll talk to us after you watch it because <laughs> <laughs> there's there's just no way around it. We got to get into it. So in other words, spoiler alert. It's, it's a really exactly. bad one. Yeah. First of all, and and and. and I'm going to start with Adam, and I'm going to actually. I would love to have this quest, this this part of the discussion be halfway serious because it actually, and some of the people at these table know this. This bugged me. It actually, it had me up at night, and I got to ask you. I kind of want. I wish I had a psychiatrist on our set right now. How psychotic? How crazy do you have to be to do what Negan did? Wait, which part? The, the way he yeah, killed he them, though. I mean, no, but like, which, I'm okay. Which, which death? If which Negan death? had just killed them, slit their throat, shot them, had someone else shoot them, that's a death. Well, this man ended their entire skull. Okay, <laughs> there were no skulls have, left. Well, just because you have an issue with the barbed wire baseball bat, <clears throat> you got to think of it as, as prison mentality. You, you want people to stay in line, you've got to show them why they have to stay in line. And you've got to be completely brutal about it. Sure. It doesn't have to make sense. Dude was great. It okay. <laughs> That's exactly why. And then it makes completely sense why you know, they killed Wood afterwards. It's, it, because and we'll talk about to, that a little bit later. You, you have to show that you are in charge. Yeah. And you have to show that there are consequences for even yeah. stepping out. Slitting throats doesn't really do that. Yeah. Adam. There's, okay, there's a, there's a couple things uh, as well to, to look at here. Number one, like I've always said, he is he is Rick. 
from the other side of the tracks, from a different angle, from whatever, he... I would love to see his backstory. How about that? Yeah. You know, like uh, Fear, Fear the Walking Dead? I would love to see the Negan backstory. And we, what we would see is someone who was doing something, the apocalypse happened, he realized he's going to survive, he found himself in power, and the only way in his mind to get people to follow him is through fear. And I mean, how can you make an army do what you want when you have no society? Okay, Because there's no laws, no rules. How do you do that? You get them to fear you. And you can't do that. I, I, okay, this is kind of off, and I don't take baseball bats to my kids. But as a father... Are you sure? <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on a second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Use your imagination Folks. here for a second. <laughs> Folks, the, the words that are about to come out of Adam's mouth... <laughs> I have nothing to do with anybody else involved. With As a father, you can only threaten so much before they realize that it's all threat. And if you show from the very beginning that there is no second chance. Basically, he said, uh, you killed my men. I killed some of your men. And then you killed even more of my men. And now we're not chill. And now we, we aren't even. And I can't have all of my army thinking that I'll let you slide because you're Rick. I like you, Rick. He I don't want to him slide though, because he didn't kill Rick. Well, because he needed Rick. He realized Rick is is his tool, and he wants Rick. Actually, as his right hand man. Uh, uh, no spoiler to the, the they chop his hand off in the comic, but anyway, yeah. uh, he needed Rick to survive, and actually, he wants Daryl to survive. And he looked, and when he was doing any, mini, miny, mo, it wasn't. I know it wasn't chance. He was assessing who he wanted to keep. Who the strongest? Yeah. Yeah, no, that brings yeah. me to also. Come on, <clears throat> I think it's exactly what wasn't so surprising. Abraham, because well, you, he's this big. You know, I'm going to take down your biggest, just strongest guy. Yeah. Well, did, Actually, did you also see yeah. how Abraham did this? And I'm that's, leaning forward. So that's yeah. the I'm leaning forward. That was one of the most heroic yeah. things. Oh yeah. yeah. Now, from a, from a director standpoint, a cinematographer standpoint, letting them both say goodbye in their own way was amazing to me. And I'm sorry, but the way Abraham said goodbye will probably go down in history as the best last words of a person. When I die, I'm saying that. That's my last <laughs> words, damn it. Awesome. <laughs> now, for a lot of people who's just like, you know, what, why, why kill off Abraham? Why kill off, guys have to remember that Abraham actually in the comics died at the railroad tracks. Right. Uh, yeah. with the arrow, uh, instead of that, instead of the girl. Uh, and Glenn died in the comics. He and, did. and, okay, they've asked, uh, they've asked Kurtwood, um, no, Kirkman. Um, Kirkwood. Sorry. <laughs> what show are you watching? They said, well, why did you do it? Glenn's so likable. And he goes, you know what? We tried. We went through the rest of the story, and we tried, if Glenn survived, what would happen? And he said, there is so much story that's coming up that if Glenn was still there, it would all unravel. There is things that will happen because of Glenn's death. There's a change that that will that will make the story be what it is in the future. Glenn had to die. There's a change in Maggie that happens and that would only happen. Oh my god! Isn't yes. that what the director said? It's like there's Walking Dead before this Negan thing, and yeah. now there's going to be Walking Dead after this Negan thing. It's going to be a whole different ball. My my second point to this, and I don't even know if it was it, it probably wasn't. Maybe it was whenever he wrote it. Look at the politics of the world. Really look at the politics of the world and where we are at, where we are at right now. And look at Walking Dead Mm -hmm. and the story. There is so, uh, many similarities. And the fact, you know, you've got this breakdown of society and you've got these powers that are coming up. And I I mean, I I could go in, this is a whole nother show, but (laughs) if, if you really look at it as a political statement, it's, it's, it's spot on. So like, I have a question. Since you know about The Walking Dead and I do not, I'm not caught up. Is it like worldwide zombies or just like America? It's worldwide, but you know you don't have any TV or any way to know what's happening. You just you just know mm-hmm. it is you have happening. Your neighborhood, and that's yeah. It. All right. There's no there's no way to get news of what's happening over in Europe or even down uh, in South America. But it's everywhere. Okay. Uh, and it's. Uh, Are they like better at? Taking care of zombies. Actually, places. that was from if you remember correctly, they the kind CDC. of mentioned. Oh, they, they did. Mentioned. They did mention at the CDC. Yes. Yeah, they kind of mentioned that the, the European doctors had possibly had a, a cure. Yeah. 
They said they were working on it. Yeah. Yes. Um, How's yeah. Americans? CDC letting you know it was everywhere. And there was a couple of really tear-jerking moments. I mean, we had Abraham flashing his last piece.